that you and mom were working on fixing up a room and dealing with a couch or some furniture. Yeah, uh, just working on the house. What was your take of how that went? I asked mom what her experience was. Um, I thought her behavior was as absolutely uh, horrible as it could ever be. How did today go? Shitty. You guys were trying to figure out a, a couch. for the Dad, Dad and I did not have one of our better days. He thinks that I was mean. <laughs> <laughs> what about her behavior was so deplorable to you? Well, um, it, it was... Uh, um, I don't know, I'm trying to think of what, if she wants the couch this way, or the chair this way. Yeah. That, uh, her, it's like, I wasn't even allowed to say, um, can we just try this? Can we try the couch here? Can we try that? We've been doing this, we've been doing this all day. I said, no, we haven't. We've been doing it 45 minutes. Mm. Uh, I think, I admit, I, I don't think I came close to being mean. I think you could accuse me of being irritable, mm. impatient. Mm -hmm. perplexed, mm -hmm. you know, confused. Very, very intolerant as she is about the interior aspects of decorating the room. And what do you think? She's not intolerant about uh, the me uh, mechanical ones, the plumbing, the wiring. She leaves that to me. Right. But if I have an opinion about where a couch would go, where it's best to put a chair to view the TV or to, yeah. or, or to read a book or near the window, oh my God. I never get things that are one dimensional anyway. It makes me anxious. The tape on the floor, if I've ever done a play and people put tape on the floor and say the drawer, I don't get it. Okay, that's basically where a couch would go and where a chair would go, right? You know? Mm -hmm. But I thought I did really well for like the first hour of measuring and putting blue. Is this the first time you and uh, your wife have had this sort of dynamic? No, that happens fucking time. <laughs> We try to do anything about fixing something up. She doesn't have any sense of how nasty she is to me. And what would she say about it on the flip side? You have no sense of how you are to me. You have no sense about how controlling you are. You have no sense about your your inability to have any idea what goes anywhere. Wherever you, she hates all my decisions. Yeah, if I say, well, why don't we make this the living room? And then we sort of do it. And she goes to me after the fact, that was a good idea. Thank mm. you. But it's really only after I'm put through absolute hell and I'm the worst person that the planet has ever created. He said, he said mom was utterly vicious to yeah, me today. I know that. I, I find his definition of utterly vicious quite insane, actually. I mean, I could do... He knows what being vicious is like, and I would like to compare my irritability and impatience and boredom with certain things compared to what real viciousness looks like. Because that wasn't it. I disagree with him. And what do you think she said when I asked her? That your father was impossible. He wanted everything his way. We had been working for over hours doing it. He had to go over and over and over it again, like he does and repeat it like you can't remember we've already done that we've done that five times mm -hmm. and he was driving me insane and who do you think is right me. i'm either fabulous or mean and vicious and not in between like irritable not fun uh cranky um impatient what about all those things i, I could own all those things mean i don't think so I don't think so. I don't know. I'm with him. Uh, you're one yeah. of the meanest people I've yeah, ever I know. met. I can't even play mean. <laughs> I have faults. Gallons of faults. But I don't think mean is one. What, I think irritability some... and impatient. 